Hello everyone, my name is Sean Webster. I'm the founder of Mafuro Farming. Mafuro Farming was uh, established in 2017 and started uh, dairy farming in 2018. Just a small highlight on Zimbabwe's dairy industry and its deficit. The average dairy farmer age is 63 years old. We're currently short of 5 million liters of raw milk production. That equates to seven to 8,000 dairy cows producing on average 17 or 18 liters. The deficit is real. That deficit is made up with milk powder importation. We are relying on using our own liquidity in Zimbabwe and in Africa, mainly referencing Southern Africa. All that liquidity is being sent overseas and milk powder is being dumped on our shores. We as Africans have a huge opportunity to supply our own markets. We can create our own raw milk production so that we can generate an export product. We have the opportunity here. We need to create that. The Zimbabwean government is giving every possible opportunity out there to give everyone the chance to create and get involved in the dairy industry. And what we're not seeing is youth coming through the industry, but there's a huge gap in the market and there's huge opportunities needs to be addressed is the fundamentals of the dairy industry so that we can create sustainability. Mafuro's pasture-based system currently is extremely competitive compared to its neighbors in South Africa. Thus meaning we can create a liter of milk at a really low price. What Mafuro is doing to help in that is developing a low cost model that is competitive on a global stage. Mafuro has grown its second farm where we are developing another farm that uh, will be milking uh, approximately 700 by the end of 2021. Just in December in 2020, Mafuro managed to hit a 20 cent EBITDA on a unit level, which is, is three times one of the most successful uh, dairy operators in Southern Africa, which gives us the edge. Mafuro is achieving what it is currently in its industry. And this is based on the model that uh, we have produced. It's a low cost model that we have developed and um, we chase smaller volumes, but higher margins. And when we're looking at the details of the business, on a pasture-based system, we're operating at a 70% GP, which gives us a lot of flex uh, in our income statement to operate and expand immensely. What gives us that 70% GP is choosing the right genetics. The right genetics come from animals and also the genetics you're putting into the ground. Obviously, there's a combination uh, of climate, etc., that, that you need to consider. But when we're looking at the genetics of the animals, the right genetics for the right style of the business. So when we choose our genetics, they come from pasture-based origins in a similar-based climate, as well as the pastures that we use here. Pastures is just a general term, but Mafuro's fields, we have a blend of pastures, legumes, and cereals that are perennials on an innovative side, which is being practiced around the world already. But through our pasture-based system, we are collecting and we are storing our cow manure, and we are pumping that through our irrigation pivots to use as fertilizer. When we do that, there are a number of benefits from that. One, we are developing our soils by putting the biomass back into the soils, but two, Using the cow manure as fertilizer minimizes our cost of sales within our business. The cows that we have and the genetics that they are, it's a cross between a Holstein and a Jersey. We're taking the big structure of the Holstein that produces large volumes of milk, but we are crossing with a Jersey cow that produces good quality butterfat milk. These cows are in their natural uh, environment on pastures, which they operate on a free range model. Farmers who are operating in their different styles, in their different formats, there's absolutely nothing wrong with those farmers. I'm only adding a new perspective and a new model that I believe is sustainable for the growth and the development of the industry here in Zimbabwe and in Africa in general. We really need to look at the youth that can contribute in this. Footsteps and some opportunities through educating youth to get involved in the dairy industry. I have an open door at Mahafuro. I am very much interested in, in putting a lot of time in helping anyone else that wants to get into dairy farming. 
My model is there for anyone to get involved in, so much so that I would, with the support of the government in any country, to develop and outgrow program so that we create sustainable opportunities for those rebuilding our industry. It's really important that, that you understand from top to bottom that everyone is important in the dairy industry. From government contributing, to the banking world contributing, to your partners that drive the success and the investment in you as a farmer as well as the key critical staff members that help you on farm. My dairy herd health manager, Mr. Bernardi, to Mr. Never Tembo, who's doing the crops and pastures, to my finance, Tendai Magijani, to, I can continue to mention a, a, a lot of names. I'm incredibly grateful for the opportunity that I was given. There was Sub-Sahara Capital, Matthew Hossack, Pro Dairy, uh, which is Callum Philp. The opportunity is huge. The opportunity is for everyone. The pie is very big. This is just Zimbabwe alone. Probably the most important part of why I am driven to succeed in my industry is because my wife and, and, and my son are there for me. Uh, they're behind me all the way. And that gives me balance. There is a bank in, in Zimbabwe, AgriBank, which is soon to be known as the Land Bank, have believed in Mafuro, have believed in me, and the rewards and the results and are proven. And because of that, the confidence in AgriBank in the dairy industry is there. And anyone else who is wishing to capitalize on this opportunity should reach out to AgriBank. I would also like to mention the assistance from POSB. We've started developing a relationship with them and as a financial partner, they on the table and I'm also grateful that they can see the foresight and the model that Mafuro is developing here in Zimbabwe. Farming is no longer just a lifestyle. Today, in our environment, farming is serious business.